Hi, so after a long time I bought something from my own country and these are available in my country quite popular, these brands. And I all of a sudden I just realized that I don't have, um, I mean, I do have a red lipstick, which is uh, the Fenty Beauties one, but that is too bright to wear. Uh, so sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be wearing too really really bright lipstick in my workplace uh, that is very uh, attractive it attracts people so i thought like to buy a little bit darker color this is from milani and this is from another milani uh, product this is obsession and this is uh, devotion so uh, these two products are i'll show you the swatch live I like Milani uh, Amore Matte Lipsticks because these are nothing unique, but they're quite good in quality, I have to say, because uh, I use... Oh, wow, the color is very pretty. Color is very, very pretty. I love Milani's um, lipsticks smell because it smells exactly like chocolate. Okay, the color is really nice. It complements the Asian skin because it is not light this is not light it's not terracotta but it is um on our skin it looks a pure red classic red it looks classic red really nice so this is a red lipstick and the obsession one i'm quite optimistic about the obsession one i do have uh, a lipstick like obsession but they're like you know oh oh it's very pretty it's very pretty it's like not really i can't say magenta neither it's plum uh in between somewhere <laughs> it's very nice very very nice color it really really complements the brown skin seriously i mean uh, this color will definitely the obsession will definitely show really really bright on any white skin but it will complement on brown skin as well i think uh, at least two three shades darker skin also can wear it very nicely and very pretty very very pretty i have to say and i bought this from one of our uh, very popular online shop called shad good and they were giving a very good discount so i thought like two why not so these two are very good purchase. Let's go for my next purchase. And this is, uh, uh, what is this? This is Wet n Wild Smudge Proof anti bevo Fine Tip, Felt Tip, Felt Tip Eyeliner. Yes, Felt Tip Eyeliner. I don't know why, what, okay. These are Felt Tip Eyeliner. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit bigger, full size. But it seems to be, this is a mini size uh, item. I don't know if it's the, the full size or not. I don't know. Let me know if it's the only size. Sorry, I haven't opened it yet. So, oops, the glue from the pack. So... Um, it reminds me a lot of Bourjois. This is the Proline Felt Tip Eyeliner. Okay, I didn't uh, actually check the name properly. This is the color black. I I love about Wet n Wild. There are so many points why you should love Wet n Wild. The first reason I think it should be is it's a cruelty free company. Wow, these are actually good. This is quite dark seriously like if i compare with m cosmetics this is quite dark this is really good company i mean the really good color and also the line is very fine i mean if you're a beginner i think this is going to be very good for you very nice very nice and then i thought actually this this two are for my daughter because she was asking for um <clears throat> eyeliner for very long so this is the colossal maybelline 
uh, smudge proof deep black so these are for and this is a little bit new this is black fix formula I don't know what does that mean with aloe vera uh, the packaging has been changed a little bit I can see from here I guess this is for something this is in rupee not in my currency in my currency it becomes 450 taka and this is 150 rupee I mean it becomes more than double because um, there um, you need to pay the duty taxes let's see how is it because i have bought uh, i have used the colossal for a very very long time then later on i actually stopped using it because there are so many um copy version was on in the market these are very good very good cudgels uh this is a little bit disappointing. Colossal Kajal is supposed to be very, very dark black. As you can see, the Wet n Wild is darker than this one. It's supposed to be very, very dark. Anyways, it's a okay, okay Kajal, I have to say. This is quite disappointing. It's supposed to be very, very black. Anyways, that's it. I mean, they said it's much proof. I can see from the wet and wild. I mean, <sighs> oh, okay. I don't know what to do with this one, but I guess you have to give a little bit of time to set on your skin this one. But I'm not happy with the color of Maybelline. Maybelline Colossal, you need to change your formula again. So that's it from my uh, my side. This took me 649 taka. And this one was how much? 450 taka. This is also 450 taka. So this was a very nice and cheap small haul. And I have some more stuff to show. But I'm not ready yet. But i am promising you end of this month or maybe beginning of next next month there are more products are coming which will be very very interesting so stay tuned please like share and subscribe of course to if you want to have some really really interesting product uh review or maybe haul you want to watch and also i would love to know what you want to watch next thank you so much